Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel today. But before I tell you what um what we're going to be showing you, first of all, happy National Roller Coaster Day to everyone. Great time it is, and today's a roller coaster video. It will be showing you the top five most expensive roller coasters in the world. Shall I go on with with it? I think we should. So. The fifth most expensive roller coaster is Raging Spirits at Tokyo Disney Sea in Japan. This is an Intamin ride. It came into the park in the year of 2005 and it cost them $74 million to build. You can tell that they put most of their money into the theming of the ride and how it looks to make it stand out and appeal to everyone and make them feel. I'm going to go on this ride, it looks amazing, I feel like it's going to be amazing for me, so I'm going to get me onto that ride, and the concept art looks amazing for this, so yeah. So the next, so number four on the most expensive rides is Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain at Disneyland Paris in France. This is a Vacoma ride, and it came into the park in 1995, when the park was struggling, it helped them out. It cost them $90 million, so that's quite a step from the previous, well, number five. And you can't really see much from it because it's mostly inside, but the outside look to it makes it look like a very, I'd say, enjoyable ride. But I don't really know because I've never done any of these rides before, so I can't tell how they will be. But they all look absolutely amazing from on-ride videos. The third most expensive ride is... Flying Dinosaur at Universal Studios Japan, obviously in Japan, yeah, it's in the name. It's a B&M ride, it came into the park in 2016, costing them $92 million to create. It's a very, it's a very interesting ride, it's a bit like Galactica at Bourne Towers with the flying element, or this is called a flying coaster, this is, that's the type of B&M it is. It's a flying coaster, and it's got like a, it's got a, tr um, what's it called? A pterodactyl at the front, like you can see here on the artwork. Very good concept art for this ride, I feel. It has a very good one. So the second most expensive ride in the world, or roller coaster, is Expedition Everest at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Which is, it's a Vacoma ride, a bit like um, Star Wars one is. It came into the park in 2006, costing them $100 million, which is expensive. The Yeti that you can see on the screen now is one of the main animatronics there, and it looks absolutely amazing, this Yeti, on the ride. The track layout looks amazing. Uh, fun fact, the, mount, they went, the designers of this went to um, the, um, the Himalayas for inspiration to create this ride. That's the fact of the, the video from Ben Truman there. They went to the Himalayas for experience, for um, ideas for the ride they did. As you can see here, pictures of them in the Himalayas preparing to design a roll a expensive, expensive roller coaster. Whee! So as you can see here, the most expensive roller coaster is Hagrid's, Ma Hagrid's Magical Cre Creatures Motorbike Adventure. At Islands of Adventure and Universal, it's an Intamin ride. Came into the park in 2019, costing 300 million. As you can see there on the screen, it has two of the biggest animatronics at the park on the ride. The unicorn that you can see on the end of the ride, and then Fluffy, which is amazing animatronics, which you see halfway through. The ride layout is amazing. You've got onboard audio, which is absolutely phenomenal, and you can definitely tell why it's so expensive. And then you've got animatronics all over the ride. You have this drop track element where you go, you stop, and then you drop down. And then your the trains are absolutely phenomenal. One's a motorbike, one's a side carriage. As you can see here, this is the whole layout of the ride. I mean, this is one of the most insane rides in a good way it is. All right, let's go on to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you still are. I know it's a bit of a different type of video I do, did. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm not going to throw the money, I'm just going to put it down there. 
And I don't know what my next video will be, but it will be a theme park video nonetheless. I'll see you guys for my next video, wherever it is. I've been Ben Truman, you've been watching Theme Park Ben, and... Bye.